In this video, let's take a look at the arpeggiator in PlayView. Now an arp just takes a note that you play that you're sustaining and chops it up. So we can make one note or multiple notes repeat depending on how we set this arpeggiator. Let's turn it on real fast. And now we have a rate knob and we have a sync button. Now remember when we were going over that universal clock over here? Well, that's what this sync button syncs to. So turning it off allows us to control the rate manually. So we can set it to 130 BPM manually, or we can sync it to our clock, which is synced to our global BPM in our DAW. When sync is turned on, the rate knob is useless. Below that, we can create a subdivision. So right now, we have quarter notes selected, and if I play a note, it's going to play quarter notes at 120 BPM. We can make that eighth notes, a triplet eighth, sixteenth, triplet sixteenth, or a thirty-second note. So I'm just holding a chord and I'm allowing that arpeggiator to do the work for me. Great. Now let's control this ARP even more. We have a range, order, and span option. Range allows us to introduce octaves. So right now, if I play a C major chord, we play those three notes over and over again. If I add an octave, we can hear it jump up an octave. We can go all the way up to four. Okay. After range, let's jump down to span. And that determines which direction our range goes. So now we go one octave higher. We can change that to go one octave lower. Here's one octave higher. We can also change it to wide, which has it go up an octave and then also down an octave. So with our range set to one, we can make it go up an octave, down an octave, or up and down an octave. Next we have order. Forward basically makes us go up. Backwards makes this ARP go down. We have what's called a rock and roll exclusive and a rock and roll inclusive. So what happens when we have multiple notes at the top and bottom of our arpeggiator? For example, let's change it to inclusive and we will hear a double note at the top and bottom. Well, say we don't want that double note at the top and the bottom, we can change it to rock and roll exclusive. And finally, we can change it to chord. We're just going to play that chord over and over again. Oh, but I am in mono mode. Let's change it to poly mode first. Now at the bottom, we have a step sequencer, and this determines the pattern that this art plays. So we can go every other. And just like a classic drum machine or a classic ARP, we can determine the loop point. So right now it's playing all 16 steps, and we can change that to only two steps. Or maybe three. I'm just changing that with the arrow down at the bottom here. So finally, let's talk about latch mode. With latch mode turned on, we can play a chord, let go, and the ARP will continue on. I've let go of the keys. And now 
I can play a second chord. And it's waiting for me to play chord number three. So that is the arpeggiator. Stay tuned for the next video where we will go over edit view.